Mark David Storm. This is a story I wrote called The Howls. It takes place in England. It's has a lot to do with my skinhead friends there that I met for the past couple years who are just amazing people I love dearly. It's tough fucking people, ragged motherfuckers, hardcore, so much love, so much unity, so much strength and fighting strength. And they're all good people. They got good hearts. So I wrote this for them. The Howls. Like a pack of wolves on the hunt, they stalk the forest, howling to each other. Their only communication to determine where the next hunter was. They spread out to increase their distance, keeping within a, how a wolf's howl of each other. In a line, they stretched for a mile. Like a comb through raven black hair, they patrolled the forest in the dark, moonless night, their enemies unaware that the wolf howls were human. The ghosts of ancient Roman conquerors opposed them, led by a centurion without a name, missing one hand, for he had once opposed Emperor Diocletian himself. He fought with a sword in the opposite hand. A shield was fashioned for his handless arm. He fought as fiercely as fire, for he had no home. The howls stumbled across the Roman ghosts, haunting a riverbed, moaning in exhaustion, as the nameless centurion guarded, alert, Seeing the, go the ghost so downtrodden, the howls had mercy. One spoke the Latin phrase, In hoc signo vinces, by the sign you will conquer, in the Roman tongue. The Romans immediately remembered the days of old, when their empire turned into a church, and they were sent off to defend a newfound religion. The leader of the howls approached the centurion, and held out his opposite hand in greeting, asking him his name. I have no Roman name. I have no home, the centurion replied, for I held true to my faith in the face of oppression. In your tongue, you can call me St. George. I guard this forest and I will always protect England. 